you can live a life fulfilled. It is our birthright to live a life of fulfillment. Yeah. and welcome back to my channel so I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in and we're going to get into it checking yourself limiting beliefs raising your vibration to change your life for the better to live out your highest timeline okay so I know on this channel I do vlogging I do like Amazon favorites and stuff but I haven't been on here in some time now my life has changed so much just by doing a lot of the stuff that we're going to get into in this video so if you're interested in changing your life for the better living out your highest timeline Line, getting your bag and just ultimately just leveling up stay tuned all right so then the first thing I want to talk about in this video is how to check your self-limiting beliefs so your self-limiting beliefs is a lot of the things that stop you from creating the life of your dreams I'm gonna give you a little example okay so whenever I talk about a topic I always want to give you an example to reference so that you can have an idea as to what might be sabotaging your life of abundance okay for example let's say you want to be a youtuber you want to have a hundred thousand subscribers you want to achieve the YouTube goal you're having a million to plus subscribers right having a true fan base but you feel as though how am I gonna create the content how am I gonna get the videos up I don't know how to edit I don't know this nobody wants to listen to me I blah 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 that's excuses those are your self-limiting beliefs do you think that everybody who's gotten on this platform has had a like has had a fan base prior no but they kept creating they kept posting they remain consistent they kept building on their skills in order to achieve their goals me personally I love YouTube I've been watching it for years I make videos as well but I've taken a huge break but if I was to listen to my self-limiting beliefs I would not post I have been on a hiatus, hiatus for two years I've posted a video and it literally got no traction you think it's gonna stop me from posting no absolutely not because your highest self is always rooting for you so when I mention that I'm talking about if you have a message right that is in your highest timeline to share to share that right maybe your talent is the gift of gift of gab and teaching people how to be the best version of themselves <laughs> Or maybe you are the type of person who's really talented in the arts and music and directing. Each and each and every one of us have a gift. And it's for you to actually hone in and figuring out what your gift is and executing it daily. Okay? So you may still have a nine to five. I'm not telling you to cut your nine to five out. Okay? You still have your nine to five. You still build somebody else's dream. But at the end of the day, you must build your dream as well. Okay, after your nine to five is done, you and you put the babies out of sleep, you need to also be working on your dreams. If you have to get up a little bit earlier in the morning, if you have to just take a little bit of, a little bit of time away from your weekend to create something. We live in a time where it's so easy for us to share what we're so good at and other people will love it. You'll uplift people, you'll help people in the process. There is no way you're going to achieve what you want by having those self-limiting beliefs. If you can't get rid of them completely, you need to at least ignore them ignore them this is actually a part of your self-concept so in order to get to the next level in your life you need to have a little bit of delusion you have to already know what's going to happen you have to already know that like we're going to keep using the example of the youtube right we have to already know that the youtube plaque <laughs> is coming in okay you have to already know that all of the things that you want and desire is already your okay so once you shift your mindset when it comes to that you allow for abundance to flow in okay i'm going to use an example that I use in my life and it was actually when I became a nurse okay so in the process of me becoming a nurse I was struggling in, nur in nursing school I was struggling in nursing school okay and they were like oh you need to go ahead and take another route to becoming a nurse and it's not going to be an RN you're gonna have to be a licensed vocational nurse so it's the nurse that actually answers to an RN and I was like no <laughs> So I bust my butt to make sure that I, I pass my board and all that jazz. So, but I had the delusion of no matter what, I will be passing, I will be a nurse, and I will have that certificate. I need it. It has to happen. At the end of the day, you can go to school and never get a degree. You're shifting your self-concept because now you are a person who has this degree, right? And now you have to go out to, into the world with zero experience, just the actual paper, right? And tell people that you are amazing at this. You are teachable. You're malleable. They'll be able 
people to bring you in and you'll be a great asset and you are going to go into on these interviews and during the process of that you're literally in the, a little bit of delusion you shifted your self-concept because yes you have the degree and the knowledge but you have no experience but now you have to then explain to people why you are the greatest thing to slice bread to bring onto their team right so that's a lot to do with it but if you had self-limiting belief and you didn't ch check your self-concept these things would not happen you know you would get the degree and you're like you know what eh, th this is too hard and oh uh, you know there's so many people going after that same job and I'm not worthy of it that's basically what you're saying you're not worth you're not worthy of it so if you feel as if whatever you want in life it and you're not worthy of it we need to then go back to those self-limiting beliefs we need to check them right so if you don't check them to get out of control visualizing that end scene so when I say visualization I, I have very vivid <laughs> imagination and I always try to imagine myself in the end scene by doing so let's, let's say you want a g-wagon <laughs> Let's say you want a G-Wagon and right now you're driving a hoop, you know, you're driving a Honda, but it's getting you from point A to B, right? It's getting you to your job, it's getting you to school, it's getting getting your kids to wherever, it's getting you to where you need to be. But in the process of you driving that car, why are those windows down? Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna pretend we're driving this G-Wagon right now. This is how visualization works and how amazing it is. And during the process of this, you can close your eyes, okay? So you're driving down the street in your brand new G-Wagon, you just picked up the keys, the, you just pulled the bow off, you felt the texture of the ribbon, right? As you pulled the bow off of the brand new G-Wagon, you pull the door of the G-Wagon. It's very heavy, right? It's very heavy in your hands and you're so excited. You throw your purse or whatever belongings you have in the, in the, in the passenger seat. You hop in, you feel the leather underneath your, your bottom, right? And then you grab the steering wheel, you grip it with two hands. But you know what, you know what? You're sitting back a little bit. You're sitting your seat up real nice, you're getting comfortable, right? And then you grab in the steering wheel, you, you, you turn on the ignition, you hit the button, right? You, I think it's a push button, don't quote me. You hit the button, you hear the engine you hear the roar of the engine right you hear the roar of the engine and then you you put your foot on the gas you let up off the brake you put your foot on the gas then you're rolling down the street and you're like let me test let me test how fast this car goes then you just hit it a little bit harder right it's a nice clear road okay we're gonna be safe here in this in, in, in this visualization you feel the rumble of the road beneath the tires. I don't know if that's a good thing or not, but I want you to use all five of your senses through this meditation, okay? So you're feeling that, right? You're putting the, your foot on the gas, you're feeling the rumble underneath the, the you, you feel, almost feel it in the steering wheel, right? Buddy's like saying, hey, oh my God, ah, your whip looks amazing. You look so good in that car. You look so bad. Ah. You know, things like that, right? So you're hearing that. And you're driving, you, you pull up to your bestie's house, right? You pull up to your bestie's house and they're like, oh my God, what? This looks amazing. You got it in white. Oh, it's so clean. You know, something up to that nature. And then you, they hop in too and they're like, oh man, Lily, your car looks amazing. So when you're doing all of this, you're priming your subconscious mind. You can open your eyes now. <laughs> you're priming your subconscious mind. So visualizing the end scene is an amazing manifestation technique and how to bring into your you know you bring your highest timeline into the present tense literally i know you felt that okay i felt it i felt like i was just driving that car just now it's literally tricking your subconscious your subconscious mind governs 95 percent of what you do in your 3d okay so when you reprogram it by do, checking your self-limiting beliefs by checking your self-concept and, and that's why I structured this video out the way I did because a lot of this goes in step by step. You have to do all of these things. And this is actually shadow work. A lot of this is shadow work, literally doing shadow work. And if you're finding it's very hard for you to do this, you might need to seek out some therapy. I don't know if you don't have a belief or a, you know, maybe you need to, you know, pray a little bit more, open up a Bible. I don't know, whatever your background is. I believe in God, I, I worship him and he, he delivers. That's just what happens. So. 
it is whatever you want to you know you live your life the way you want but i'm just giving you the tips that have worked for me okay it may not work for you but these are the tips that work for me and then we could try to do the visualization but if you're having a lot of hard stops through all of the process you might need a little bit of therapy i'm gonna be honest i sought out therapy because i knew if i wanted to heal i needed to utilize a specialist and that's a therapist and that's okay utilizing a therapist is actually really okay a lot of the time this is covered in, in insurance or just bust open your bible pray meditate breath work that stuff works too because a lot of the stuff that i remember that i learned from my therapy sessions is that you need to have coping mechanisms safe and healthy ones right so you you talk to a family member a really close family member about whatever may be happening that you feel secure with pray you meditate you find what really helps you during the process of you healing because a lot of the time basically what i'm telling you to do before you get to this this high highest timeline is heal i'm teaching you how to heal i'm teaching you how to heal however many years of whatever may be happening to you so you can become the best version of yourself you need to heal baby you have to it's a part of it healing is imperative okay so we already talked about supplementing beliefs we talked about self-concept we talked about visualization and we talked about healing all right one of the last things i want to talk about is consistency is to be consistent okay i'm going to use me as an example i hadn't posted a video on youtube for almost two years i think yeah it's been about two years and i was like really nervous about it because i was like oh my god i used to make so many videos and they were all about this particular niche and i'm coming back on a, with a completely different niche don't know how it's going to be received and i'm like you know what i'm still gonna post i'm still going to post and i'm going to remain consistent and i was building the muscle through other platforms i was actually i've been actually um i call it micro creating i've been micro creating this whole time through my other platforms like my instagram my tiktok those other platforms i have micro created this entire time so now youtube has short so i was making micro creation little videos i still edit i edit all the time i make little videos all the time I never stop creating right and so i always remain consistent in some way shape or form and the people who still who found me through my youtube content from you know two three years ago they still follow me on my social media platforms and they are like leslie come on where's the content let us so i was like you know what let's remain consistent and the reason why i know i must remain consistent is because this is in my highest timeline there's not a day that goes by that i don't get this little voice in my head that's like leslie have you posted yet leslie come on where's the content let's do it let's post let's get the message out to the people we need to help and uplift that is literally what your job is okay and it sounds crazy the way i'm saying it but literally when you start to meditate you start to pray you start to get a lot of downloads you start to get a lot of downloads you start to get a lot of information that helps to guide for your actual highest timeline the best version of you it comes so easy because it's like oh this is what i should have been doing all along oh my god when you finally get to realization do not beat yourself up about it don't beat yourself up that you waited however many years or months or whatever how long and if you're starting this really young keep at it. do not allow whatever time has passed to stop from um, living out your highest timeline i find it so funny i don't really get phone calls i do from recruiters because i've been travel nursing for almost three years and i've had like a multitude of calls on this video but i'm still going to get this message out to you guys okay so i want to thank you so much for watching um i want to keep these videos coming I, I i feel like i'm on fire i love talking about how to make your life better i literally I have a book. I gotta plug myself because we're once again we're, we're checking self-limiting beliefs we're checking our self-concept and we're doing all these things because it's really hard to self-promote right it's really hard it's kind of cringy but i'm gonna do it anyway <laughs> this is my book you can get it on amazon if you're a kindle reader it's available free with kindle i think it's called kindle direct or something like that and then you can also pick up a physical copy on amazon i'll link it down below um it's the self-mastery blueprint unlocking your potential and living your best life it's basically the stuff i talk about in this in this video my life has changed because I literally started to just deep dive. I started to deep dive and meditate and pray more and life just feels so good. Even when things are not going well, you would never know because I am so uplifted by my heart center okay when you get on this level and if you're already on this level this high vibrational frequency basically i went through an awakening this year and this awakening is what has allowed me to really check my self-limiting beliefs really help me pick myself up and to get back
back on here and make videos for you guys. I feel so good right now just talking to you guys about this stuff. And I hope this video resonated with you. Comment down below what messages that you love today. And if you want me to touch on any other like topics when it comes to elevating your life, living a life of abundance, definitely let me know. I will keep these videos coming. And listen, you can live a life fulfilled. It is our birthright to live a life of fulfillment. I hope you're picking up what I'm putting down. <laughs> I hope you're picking up what I'm putting down. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Peace. Tap in. All in my phone, I got options. And I don't want to tell you to drop it. But I don't want to play your face.